I'm sure you're thinking from the title of this video, is she feeling okay? And yeah, I am. I'm perfectly fine. I know that 2020 has been kind of a crazy, like literally a year that just didn't need to happen. But also at the same time it did, you know, it's, it's a love-hate relationship with 2020. Uh, 2020 brought a lot of issues that were hidden away uh, to the forefront. And even though we've had to spend our holidays differently, choosing to stay home and stay safe rather than celebrating with family has been difficult for many of us. And different parts of the world, even different parts of this country, things were different. Like I'm in New Brunswick, it's different than Ontario, Alberta, or even British Columbia. So it's crazy how different our worlds are actually, but at the same time, how we're all getting through it and how we're all going through it. So anyways, 2020 has been a year of great things for me. Kind of stumbled into reselling and starting this whole business. And now I have thousands and thousands of dollars in inventory. And I've, I think I've done 665 sales in one year. And you know, this wasn't some gimmick that someone sold me on was like, oh yeah, do this and you're going to make all this money. No, this was something I just downloaded an app and I was like, oh, this works. People buy your stuff. Okay. So it started from there and actually I downloaded the app in December, but I didn't start on it really. I mean, I listed, I think I listed a couple of things in December and thought, whatever. And then two weeks later, someone bought it. So, I mean... If you're just starting out, like you're not just going to be rolling in hundreds of sales, but I will say with consistency, you'll start to see a bit of action, you know, wherever there's an action, there's a reaction. So, so yeah, I stumbled into my online business and you know, I've, I've connected with so many people online and so many resellers, so many moms, so many people who are doing the exact same thing as me. And I think it's very difficult to find something you can do from home when you have little ones at home and manage it appropriately, like manage your time properly. So it's really good to know, like, I'm not the only one, like this all the time, <laughs> but it's okay. And uh, I think on top of that, like my 2020 started off like garbage. So I started Poshmark. I had a couple of sales and then I was in a car accident and I broke my hand and I was, was just, you know, just down. I felt kind of useless. I didn't have a working, this hand, I didn't have a working hand. And uh, it, it was very difficult to just do daily things like having a shower, brushing my hair, putting my hair in a ponytail. Oh, and I like having my hair up off my neck. I get tension headaches really easily. So having my hair done all the time, which just wasn't ideal and I couldn't brush it. So it was like a big knotted mess, kind of like now. <laughs> so yeah, it was just, it was a, it was a struggle and I chose not to let it stop me. I continue to do Poshmark. I continue to share with one hand. I continue to uh, collect the orders. And I had my husband. He was so helpful. He put all the things in the boxes for me. He drove them to the post office because I also have PTSD. So I couldn't just get right back behind the wheel as much as I tried. It was very difficult and it's still difficult to this day. So, um, but that's previous PTSD. I'm not just self-diagnosing just so we don't. Don't come for me. So, um, so it was, it was difficult to do that. And so that's how my 2020 started. And actually at the end of, oh, I'm getting behind myself. At the end of 2019, I had a meniscus tear in my left knee. So I was off work and I was at home. I couldn't put a lot of weight on it. There's been nothing since I've not been able to see a doctor, you know, COVID happened and then priorities kind of shifted. Um, my knee is not of high importance in the medical industry or the medical field. So it's just been like a, a sitting duck basically. So anyways, so yeah, that was December and January. So people are like, Oh my God, 2020. So I'm all like, listen, I've been dealing with crap since before COVID existed. So I continued with it. I got my cast off. I started doing rehab and then COVID came 
and you know my kids were home and I was trying to do this whole like homeschool thing but I, like honestly props to teachers I liked you before I love you now like it's just insane how difficult it is to teach little minds and keep them fresh and keep them wanting to learn so that was a struggle and I'm I I don't think I did anything I kept them alive <laughs> so I we did that and it was the summertime and you know I just continued to work away and I worked like crazy it was just constantly working and sourcing and you know following protocols so I think that starting this business in this time is insane uh, but if you're out there and you're working your business and it's being like if you're at least generating some sales way to go because honestly the amount of people who weren't buying because they didn't have anywhere to go and they have loungewear so they don't need to buy any more loungewear the amount of sales that probably dropped off just because of covid like way to go like you're you're surviving and that's great so aside from the craziness of covid i'm not grateful for covid I'm, let's, let's get that off of the chest like pff, pff, no no COVID but I can't write off 2020 2020 has been a huge year for me as a small business as because I wasn't a small business in 2019 and then all of a sudden I was in 2020 so I mean it's a big deal so <laughs> uh, 2020 is a big year for me I kept motivated I do feel like right now in December I'm not as motivated but I'm hoping that in January I'll kick myself back in the butt and get free motivated but yeah Christmas was just like hectic our plans got changed and it's just been <sighs> kids 24 7 <laughs> I'm the worst for keeping a schedule so I have I don't have any like 2020 resolutions but I have some planning goals in mind and that's to plan you know, have a schedule, kind of set a schedule for myself, get out of bed at a reasonable time. I'm really bad for that. And just really focus on, like, focus on the business. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. But, like, seven days a week, 20 hours a day, it's a lot. And I'm talking about, like, constantly checking to see if there's any questions. Like, maybe set hours aside for family. I haven't really been good at that. So, as crazy as 2020 has been, I am grateful. I am grateful for 2020 as a whole. I am grateful for the people I've met. I'm grateful for the support I receive online. And I'm grateful for you. You. Yes, you. And with all that said, I hope that 2021 is amazing for you and that you have all the success that your heart desires and that we can all be successful together. If this is your first time here, make sure to press the subscribe button. You can check out some of my other videos there. And I will see you next time. I don't know about next week. I'm going to take a break next week. We'll see. <laughs>